In this video, I'll be taking you through the process of how to find the best place to trade for a particular token. Now, you may have heard of a brand new staking program, a new protocol that's building, and they've released their token, it's out in the market, and you wanna get your hands on some of those tokens, but you may not know the best place for it. And in the Cardano ecosystem, there are many really, really good decentralized exchanges, and each of these DEXs do fight for the liquidity from these projects. So when a new one launches, they try and do a partnership with them so that they will be the main DEX holding a lot of that liquidity. And you as a user may not know where all that liquidity is. The more liquidity, the better your trades, less price impact, less slippage, and all sorts of other things uh, that can benefit from you to make a little bit more profit in your trade. Now, this all came about when I heard Maze had released their staking program. And with this, you can get your Maze tokens and stake it on their platform and earn a little bit more extra rewards. So if you're a holder of a particular token, it's good to stake it into these things so that you can earn the little bit of uh, extra tokens from it. Um, the whole, all these staking programs are also very liquid. So you can unstake your tokens and then sell at any point in time if you really need to. So it's kind of an extra benefit just for holding those tokens. So I do like these type of staking programs. So I had to work out exactly where to get these tokens from. Now, for those that don't know about Maze, they are uh, building portfolios and indexes on the Cardano ecosystem. And uh, the Maze token is their governance token for their um, ecosystem. Now, they have also released their smart contracts as uh, all open source. They're all on on GitHub as well. So if you do want to check them out, they are readily available. So they're very transparent in everything that they're doing. So this is their staking platform. And I had absolutely no idea where to get some of these maze tokens from. So I am delegating for their ISPO here, but um, I haven't received any of those tokens or maybe I missed the uh, claiming process or something. So I, I need to look into that. But this is where I want to stake at the moment. And to be able to stake, you need to have those tokens. So I was looking around and I started off on MinSwap here. And I just wanted to get a little bit of uh, the tokens here so I can get uh, just a little bit of exposure to it and work out the best way um, to access these tokens. But if you have a look here, let me just zoom in for you guys. The price impact here is 50. 16, basically 16%. And that's really high. It means that there isn't enough liquidity on this particular pool, liquidity pool for this trading pair between Ada and Maze. And if I continue with this trade, um, I could lose a little bit off the top there. And it's not very beneficial for me. If you want to learn more about price impact, check out the video up above there, the links there. And I talk a little bit more about price impact so you can understand exactly how that all works. So this isn't the best place to trade for Maze. So I thought, where can I get the best price then? I have to go to every single DEX and work it out. Luckily, Dex Hunter is the go-to place to actually find the best uh, prices for everything because they aggregate all of the prices in one interface. So from here, I can click on the swap and go through and type in the Maze token and then continue with my swap here. So I'll type in 10 ADA again, and here I can see uh, the price. Uh, I get 495 maze tokens here, a little bit more than what I would on MinSwap alone without the price impact. And if I uh, expand this, I can see where that liquidity is coming from. And you can see here it's coming from Spectrum Finance. Cool, okay. So Spectrum Finance is also a DEX I haven't tried out yet. So I do wanna try that one out and maybe I'll do the swap directly there. But there are other DEX aggregators. So I thought I'll try on Muesli Swap to see uh, what the price there might be. Maybe they can find me a better price for the Maze token. And I'll just change over to Maze there and then add in 10 ADA and see what I get. And here they, they give me the min swap one and here the price impact is uh, astronomical. That's really, really high. Let me zoom in for you guys so you can see that. That um, isn't the best uh, potential price there and it is lower than what I'm seeing on Dex Hunter there as well. So um, yeah, I, I, may, I may not use this one uh, for this particular swap, but it may be better for other ones in the future, uh, but I am going to try and swap directly on Spectrum Finance for the Maze token so I can see 
uh, what uh, this experience is like because I've never used Spectrum Finance before. So I'm going to type in 10 ADA here. The price here is the same as what I'm getting with the maze um, on Dex Hunter, so 495 Yep, yep, pretty much the same price. Now I'm gonna expand this and actually have a look at some of the fees. Okay, I haven't connected my wallet, so let me just connect my wallet, my NAMI wallet here. There we go, okay, so let's have a look at some of these fees. Uh, refundable deposit, yep, that's really low, and uh, 1.5 to 1.8 ADA, that is actually quite cheap as well. Let me just check what I was getting on Dex Hunter here. Deposit a little bit higher and the batch of fees is 1.5 um, ADA as well. Okay, so that's uh, the exact um, uh, amount of ADA from Spectrum. Now, the interesting thing here to note is Dex Hunter is not taking a fee for this particular transaction. So that's really good for this small amount of ADA Dex Hunter isn't adding on top of that. So that's a really good uh, user experience. So thank you, Dex Hunter, for doing that. But I'm going to uh, do this swap directly on Spectrum Finance. So I'm gonna click on swap. Everything there looks good. I'm gonna confirm that. And then I'm gonna sign that transaction in my NAMI wallet. And there it goes. So I'm just gonna view this transaction here. Now there is something to note, which is absolutely brilliant with Spectrum Finance. And it is how quick and how fast uh, it is. So that's my transaction going out. So I've spent that. That goes to the uh, particular smart contract. And let me just load up the other side here. Now, this, this is something really, really noteworthy. And I'll just show you on my NAMI wallet here. You can see how fast this is. That's my outgoing transaction. There's my incoming transaction. And it's in the same block. It literally comes in straight away. As soon as I do that swap and send my assets out, my assets are coming back in that I'm swapping for. So I'm opening up my Maze wallet and I can see my Maze tokens uh, in there already, uh, which is amazing, amazingly fast. So uh, Spectrum Finance are doing some sort of magic there. I did have to ask them about that. Like, well, how are they doing this? Thought it was magic, but no, it's just something called transaction chaining. Just a feature of UTX, so model, uh, there's no magic to it. So using transaction chaining means that you can get your transaction back to you really, really quickly. So I absolutely love that they are taking advantage of the UTX, so model, and creating that really cool user experience. So. Combining that with Dex Hunter and uh, a really simplified user interface and optimized fees and profits from your trades with a Dex like Dex Hunter that can provide that really fast optimal trade and return of the asset to the user is amazingly cool. I absolutely love what these teams are building out there. Every day the Cardano blockchain just simply gets better. Now that I have my maze tokens though, let's stake them onto the platform here. So I've got my uh, tokens, they're in the wallet. So let me connect my NAMI wallet here and stake my little bit of uh, maze tokens. All right, so it's detected the amount of maze. Let me zoom in for you guys. So it's detected the amount of maze I have in my wallet. Let's click on deposit, max amount, click accept, sign the transaction and a little bit of a deposit and away we go. There we go. So now I'm part of the maze ecosystem. I've staked my tokens on there. I've had a really good user experience in getting the maze tokens and discovering a little bit more around the Cardano ecosystem. And now I'm a part of the maze and I can earn these extra tokens there too. So Hopefully you found this video useful, this little journey of discovery that I had. I thought I had to share it for all of you out there as well. If you like this type of content, if you love this video, please consider giving me a thumbs up, click subscribe, click on the notification bell. Lots more videos for you guys. You may have noticed that there are no ads either. So, you know, a thumbs up would really be appreciated too. And with that, I'll see you in the next video. Yeah, yeah, gotta do it like that. You've been listening to the Learn Cardano podcast. Gotta get it hype. Crypto is what we like. But this is not investment or financial advice. Gotta do your research, cause it's risky. We know it is. This show is educational and it's informative. Crypto's the future, really, it ain't no debate.